Thank you for tuning in to another Race Grooves presentation. We're going to take a look at tracking trucks. Don't confuse them with these here. There's no name, but these are larger. These used to be called uh, racing rigs or pavement pounders, but these trucks do not fit in the on the track. Even though, look, they both have a bone shaker. These trucks are larger, and they do not fit in the track. These are for driving around, having fun, playing with your toys. Nice, nice uh toys for the kids this video is just going to be on track and trucks now these have a copyright of 2012 but actually they arrived in the usa in 2013 because i did my first video like january of 2013 we got a bone shaker with our little bone blazer track and truck the back of the packages are all the same as you can see here see this package here this showed up internationally i think canada or the uk or other other places this one's copyright 2012 but when internationally when they got these look copyright 2013 they got these later and not only that they didn't get the bone shaker so they were not happy about that so usa got the bone shaker same truck but not no models were included in the usa we had two bone shakers uh, as you can see, same truck, Bone Blazer, and it had the Bone Shaker. Let you have a look at that. I don't know if this one showed up internationally. We also had this one here with Off Track Road Rally. There were two Off Tracks. I, I opened up the other pack. I don't have it with me today. Here you have Holland Heat. This is another one that showed up internationally. Love the shiny chrome. So this package here was not available in the USA. Here's what we got. We got a black monopostal. There was actually two versions. You can see Holland Heat, same truck, same cab design. But uh, we got it in blue with a blue monopostal, whereas the international version didn't come with any track and truck at all. But still nice, shiny gold chrome. Here's the same truck, I believe. Yeah, Highway Hauler. Wait a second, is that the same cab? Let's look at that. Nope, different cab. Sorry. So let's set this one aside now. Here we have Highway Hauler. Now, these over here, uh, Pablo in Brazil, he helped me get some of these trucks. And Carl Pomponio, he's a longtime collector friend of mine. He helped me get these international versions. Thank you very much, fellas. It'll en enable me to do some uh, more videos. Because guess what? These are not available in the U.S. anymore. Over here. Oh, by the way, that was T gray. Uh, let's see. Here's the gold version. Did we... I got, got some stuff mixed up here. Here's the uh, chrome version. Let's see. What do we got here? So, whereas internationally, they got the same truck. They did not get the red T gray. Very nice model, but uh, they didn't get the car. And in the USA, there were two versions of T Gray. I went ahead and picked up them both. Let's see, Highway Hauler, same ones. We got a white T Gray. Now, I thought these things were going to be around for a while, so I didn't pick up every one. I kind of picked one or the other. Didn't necessarily get all of the different colors or models. And then, next thing you know, we get uh, this one here. Here you have Super Blitzen, Speed Hauler. Check it out. He's got an X-ray uh, trailer in the back. You can see right through it. Got this one. I like Super Blitzen, so I went ahead and picked up both of these. Got an orange version. Copter Chase. There was another one. I think a yellow helicopter. I just got one because I wanted a sample of the truck. I don't, I don't particularly collect helicopters. So I just got one for the sam sample sample of the truck. And see, I think here's the truck that was the yellow helicopter. But I, I didn't buy that one. There's a look at that one. And then uh, next up for the USA, we have nothing. Yeah, nothing. All of a sudden, they're not carried in the USA anymore. So whereas the international people were upset that, uh, you know, they didn't get a, a model with theirs. Guess what? Now they make out better than us because now they get the trucks and we don't even get the trucks at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. Turbo Beast. Now I'm being told these can be found in like Brazil or UK or Canada, Australia. 
not in the USA. What a shame. Check out this cab. Really wild design. <laughs> Two different colors. There's another one. Hopefully I can get someone to help me acquire the other version as well. Check out fuel and fire. Got a fire truck on the back. It says fire rescue H2O. You know that's the chemical composition of uh, water. Hydrogen. Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, right? That's what makes water. HWFD, Hot Wheel Fire Department. Wow, look at that. USA, we don't get this cool stuff. And, and other countries get this cool, cool stuff. Oh, well. These two trucks right here. Pablo helped me out. Pablo got me two. I got one of each. So I think it's time for me to test them out on the track again. Well, should I pick one? Hmm, should I pick the fire truck? Should I uh, try Turbo Beast or should I try both? Hmm, what do you think? Let's take a look at this and see. Look, they're getting two colors as well. Here you have Aero Blast, that's the name of the model. Aero Blast, same truck, but you get two different designs. What do we have here? Here we have Speed Blaster. Now, you know, Speed Blaster is a regular Hot Wheels model. But uh, see, they reuse the name so that they can keep their trademarks on the name. Speed Blaster. Is that Speed Blaster? Let me pull these forward. What do I have? Nope, different cab. You can tell it's a different design. Let's take a close-up of Speed Blaster. Looks like you can haul a Hot Wheels model in the back. As a matter of fact, these are like a trailer. Looks like you can put a Hot Wheels model in the back and haul him around. Some of them have it on the back. Some of them have it in the back, but then like that uh, fire truck, uh, nope, can't put nothing in there. Just water. Well, actually, you can't even put water in there. It's closed off, but anyways. Okay, let's see. Speed Fleet's the name of this one. I, I really like how they have this back here to where it's a plastic. comes here. It's like the glass part, and then it comes in through here. Wow, this is a pretty cool design. Some of these models you might recognize, and I'm going to give these guys special... Uh, feature presentation here is a speed blaster again there's a it's a hauler and maybe the front of the cab maybe you think the cab looks like a Hot Wheels model yeah Pablo was telling me that some of these trucks are actually based on regular Hot Wheels models uh, do you recognize this one yeah it's modeled after a real Hot Wheels model and I'll be taking a look at those later on this one has open, look, it has open slats so you can see your vehicle after you put them in there. That's pretty neat. So we have caged cargo in the back. And this one is Mr. Big. Last up. So you can put, let's see, how would you put your cargo in there? Oh, look, it's got a hinge right there. Look, I forgot Pablo told me. See right there? It's got a little hinge. So it looks like this would pop open so you can put your model. So out of all these trucks, you know, uh, I'm going to do some track testing on either the fire truck or that cool rig or both it depends on you know what you guys put in the comments i'll take a look at them but let's take a look at the the cabs again and maybe you recognize which trucks these are based on from the hot wheels line some of them are some of them are this one isn't this one doesn't look familiar to me but this one looks familiar that one looks like it could be this is a, this is one this one's definitely not in the regular hot wheels lineup i don't recognize any trucks like that it's do a quick look maybe you have ideas where these came from and then when I focus oh this is an extra and then when I do like a focus videos on individual models I'll show the truck along with the regular Hot Wheel that it looks like mm, this one I don't think that one is take a look at that mm, not that one mm, same one that's the extra and this one here yeah this one for sure I don't even think this one's been in the basics. I think this is an adult collectible casting with the initials of a CC. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. Maybe you read the comments and maybe you'll see what somebody else suggested uh, that it might be resembling from the regular Hot Wheels lineup. There you go. There's all the ones. So while you guys are internationally, you guys didn't get the car, you guys come out ahead this time. Man, you got some cool, cool trucks in the lineup. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.